Let's break down the Brexit blues now with Jamil Ahmad, who is market analyst at Forex Time. So, Jamil, thank you very much for joining us. One year on since the Brexit vote. From a kind of investor's perspective, where do we stand? Thank you very much for having me. Now, where we stand exactly one year on is pretty much uncertainty because one year since the EU referendum outcome, many are still wondering what exactly does Brexit mean? And this is why these negotiations that are taking place this week are very important. But what we can talk about is the material impact the Brexit uh, outcome has had on the British pound. We've seen the British pound fall at 1.30%. It's still 15% away from its peak the night of the referendum. And we've seen additional inflation risks in the United Kingdom economy. So this has been the direct impact at this stage for businesses, investors and pretty much consumers. So what you're saying is that it all really depends on whether there's going to be a hard Brexit or a soft Brexit. So basically staying in the European Union single market or a complete separation. What would be the, the difference for investors between those two outcomes? That's correct. This comes down to whether the United Kingdom leaves on the soft Brexit terms or the hard Brexit terms. Starting with the hard Brexit, this would be seen as presenting the largest risk to the financial markets. And it's something that UK Prime Minister Theresa May hinted that we could be heading towards before the EU, um, sorry, before the UK election just two weeks ago. So a hard Brexit would present the largest risk to the British pound, we would see significantly more downside and potentially a return to its lows below 120 against the dollar. But as we are starting these negotiations now, the interesting thing is that it seems to be that we're drifting towards more of a soft Brexit. Now, a soft Brexit is seen as more diplomatically going to help investors in terms of subtle nerves. And a soft Brexit would probably lead to a bit more sustainability and maintain the financial market rhythm. It would probably lead to more consistency in the British pound at this point as well. OK, and your firm, Forex Time, despite all of this uncertainty, last year set up an office in London as other companies, other financial firms, are threatening to flee. So why did you decide to do that? Well, at Forex Time, we've always prided ourselves on long-lasting relationships. And we're as committed to the European market and the UK market as we were before Brexit and the decision. What we really specialize in at Forex Time is financial education. And we see demand for financial education on a global scale. And this hasn't really materially changed following the outcome to the EU referendum. OK, so not all financial firms are feeling the need to flee. Jamil Ahmad, thank you very much for breaking that down for us.